everyone. We had a great day on Lake Hickory today. Spent a little bit of time out there at the sandbar. It was relatively empty, pretty much because there were some showers around, which we don't really have to worry about because we're in a ranger tug. And so we went out there, enjoyed the sandbar, and pretty much peace and quiet, and had a great day. So we got back into the driveway, and I decided I had a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and record a video for you on how to update your Garmin software. And the updates, the, the way I do it is via Active Captain. And Active Captain is the app that Garmin has that allows you to interact with your plotter in a lot of really cool ways. First, what is Active Captain? So, Active Captain was one of the first crowdsourcing apps that were used for people along the Intercoastal Waterway and other major waterways around the country to put in reviews. Um, to critique an anchorage or uh, a marina, talk about the pluses, the minuses, fuel prices, all of that kind of stuff. And it allowed, you know, really you to look at a, a, the crowd's consensus around the quality of those locations. You could also mark shoaling or other danger zones, uh, areas where you needed to watch out for uh, tides, swings, and those kind of things, bridges, bridge heights, all that kind of stuff was in available in Active Captain. And it was so successful that Garmin bought Active Captain as a way to integrate the data that was in Active Captain, the crowdsourced data, into your actual chart crawler experience. So you can actually have after Active Captain reviews and everything show up on your chart plotter, plot, chart plotter which is really convenient, but also. Uh, it was Garmin's approach to take it and fully integrate it so you can handle all the interactions with your chart plotter, like software updates, map updates, the subscription model they have now where you can get daily updates to your maps if you would like. Uh, you can uh, share the screen of your chart plotter to uh, another device, and that's how I'm actually going to record what I do with it today, is actually record it on my iPad so that you guys can see exactly what happens uh, with the interface but you can also get you can connect it to your phone for text alerts that show up on your chart plotter when somebody sends you a text those kind of things so there's a lot of functionality in there uh, there are all kinds of videos online on how to set it up it just takes a 32 gig card you put in your chart plotter uh, connect your phone to the app or your ipad uh, and I know how it works on Apple devices. Uh, pretty much everything I use is Apple. I don't have. I have one Android device that I've touched in like the last five years, uh, just a spare tablet. So uh, everything I talk about is going to be from the Apple perspective. But I have Active Captain on my phones. I have it on my iPad, and it's how I can interact with the plotter and be able to uh, plot a course for the next day or those kind of things. And you'll see some of those features as we go. So. First thing I'm going to do in order to upgrade uh, the, the, the Charter software is turn on all of my Garmin devices as well as the rest of the devices on my NMEA 2000 network. And so that's things like the engine, uh, which has an interface. All, because I want the Garmin chart plotter, chart plotter to see everything it usually sees. So probably not necessary just the way that I do it. So I'm going to put the engine on. I'm going to turn on the chart plotter, turn on the autopilot. Uh, the rest of my devices come on automatically, things like the radar and uh, those kind of things. So we're going to do that. And then I'm actually going to connect to Active Captain on my iPad. Select the Garmin Wi-Fi network, and now that I'm connected to that, my iPad is recording, uh, or is connected to the Garmin ch chart plotter. So the other thing I'm going to do, uh, first of all, I'm going to I'm going to uh, go to the Helm feature 
which allows me to actually do the chart plotter and I'm going to start a screen recording there. That way you guys will have an up close shot of what's going on on the chart plotter. So you can see the chart plotter here. Same thing that's going on down here. I am going to adjust the brightness. I'll max that up so you can see it better on the screen. And the other thing I'm going to do uh, is disable all my sonars because I'm sitting here on the trailer and uh, disabling the sonar is a good idea whenever you're not actually in the water but you're using your chart plotter. So we have uh, the, the Garmin uh, interface on. Now you'll notice uh, that the same thing is displaying on my actual chart plotter and on my iPad and I can go on my iPad and I can actually interact with the chart plotter like I'm actually uh, there. And one of the great things we found to use this for is navigating at night. I can turn on the radar, hand the iPad, or my wife can pull it up on her iPad. She can actually be watching the radar. I can dim the screen on the chart plotter and just have the screen for my Psyonix camera and then my actual night vision and I can keep my night vision without having to look at anything bright and she can focus on what's coming into the radar. So really cool that you can have the ability to move your chart plotter around the vessel, even though it's not a very big vessel, right? But you have the ability to interact and work with your chart plotter uh, on your iPad or on your phone. So the next thing we're going to do is I, what I want to do is I'm going to hit the options key. Now, let me, let me back up a second. I've already upgraded to the, the Q1 release of the software, which gave you a new interface. So if you haven't updated your chart, chart plotter software in a while, you're going to have a, a slightly different interface, the older interface. In the, in the new interface, to get to all of these settings for the actual chart plotter itself, you're going to touch options and then come over to the bottom on the left where it says settings. And then what I like to do is look at the communications tab and the NMEA 2000 setup and a device list. And this will show you the devices that are on your network and connected. So you can see here, I've got my actual chart plotter, uh, the autopilot, the reactor 40 pump, uh, my Yamaha, Marine, since I have the engine on, the uh, Autoglide, Linco Autoglide, Sorry, did you say that? Uh, as well as the, um, you know, the, the whole list here of what's uh, actually on the network. Now, you won't see the uh, radar on here because the radar comes in through the Garmin Marine network, uh, which is an Ethernet type of network. But this is the NMA, NMEA 2000 network, and I want to make sure I've got all the devices there that need to be there. So I'm going to come back uh, a couple of steps, look at the Marine network. You'll see the Garmin Phantom 18. Um, and actually, since I'm connected to the Garmin, it's telling me there are software updates available. I'm going to do install later because I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But you'll see two devices on the Garmin network. And then we'll come back and go back to the very beginning. And what I will then do is come all the way home. I'm going to look at my home screen and I'm going to go to the active captain chart. And what you'll see there is the synchronization between the active captain app running on my iPad and the active captain built into the chart plotter. You'll see at the top I've got eight gigabytes used out of and 22 free. Uh, there's a 32 gig card in there. It's telling me I've got software updates ready for installation. I have smart notifications disabled. I find the text messages that pop up on the chart plotter while you're cruising to be distracting. So I haven't set those up yet. I think probably what I'll do now that they have different focus settings on the iPhone is uh, basically have a focus zone set up for just family members so that I get family member notifications on here, but nobody else. 
uh, but that's a, a trick for another day. And then uh, right here it'll say, it says the helm is streaming to my mobile device. And all of that, including one chart up at the top, my charts are up to date for the charts that I've purchased. So all of that's available here on the chart plotter in the active captain chart uh, on, your, on your home screen. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the software updates and it says they're ready for installation. And the, the, the software that it's gonna update is my Garmin GPS map 942 to 27.10. My current version is 26.2. Now, the, um, when I start this installation, it'll probably drop on my iPad as it does the work. So we'll use the camera here kind of to show what's going on. But the, if there were any other software updates for the other stuff on the network, like the autopilot, it has frequent upgrades or the, uh, GPS, uh, 24 or the, um, radar, those kind of things. Uh, if there were updates available for it, they would show up here in the list as well and you have the option to install them. So I'm gonna choose install. Uh, it's gonna tell you it takes a long time to complete and you better make sure you have enough uh, either shore power or battery energy to keep it going. I'm gonna choose yes. And then it's gonna to proceed to transfer the image over. Now on your network, this is a fairly quick process because it's a Wi-Fi connection between my uh, iPad and the chart plotter. Uh, so they're the only two devices. So let me, while this uh, update is taking place, uh, there's 90% of the, uh, during the transfer, while the update's taking place, let me talk a little bit about how Active Captain works in the, in the software update process. So what you'll need to do is get on your phone or get on your iPad with the uh, Active Captain app. And if you go to the devices screen, it'll tell you if there are software updates available. And so you click download while you're on your home Wi-Fi network or your cellular network, wherever you want to download it from. You're going to download it there. And then you can come out to the boat. And when you get to the boat, you switch from your home Wi-Fi network to the Garmin Wi-Fi network that's built into the chart plotter. That's what you saw me do at the very beginning when I swiped down and switched Wi-Fi networks. That was to uh, um, allow me to get connected to the chart plotter. And that's the secret to Active Captain. That's why some people struggle with Active Captain and getting it, getting it connected because they don't understand the difference between being connected to the internet on your home Wi-Fi and being connected to the chart plotter on its Wi-Fi. And once you're connected to the chart plotter on the Garmin Wi-Fi, you're not gonna have internet connectivity, right? Unless you're using a phone with a cellular connection, then you can have both. But as you can see here, uh, it's gonna start the update process and we'll pause here for a second while this bar is moving its way across and then we'll come back and finish it up. Okay, so it has completed the update. Our bar is at 100%. It says update complete, press restart to finish. So I'm gonna tap the restart button and you'll see that my uh, heading is back on the autopilot. And as this reboots, we'll talk about how to go about reconnecting. Uh, sometimes if you're doing, these, doing this process and you reboot your plotter, your device may, alt, may go back to your home Wi-Fi network, right? Because I've got Wi-Fi coverage out here. So um, if I can't reconnect, I just need to make sure that I change the Wi-Fi back to the Garmin network. So they're giving me an end user license agreement that is uh, 43 screens long. I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. I'm gonna go ahead and reconnect on my boat apps. Go to the helm. It looks like it did switch Wi-Fi networks while it was down. So I'm gonna come back here, switch to the Garmin 
network. I identified mine as not Garmin 9921. And now I'm back to uh, being able to show you everything in, in, in the higher resolution uh, of the iPad recording. So you'll notice that the software updates are, are complete here. Uh, my user data is synced, and that is the actual uh, tracks and those kind of things. So all the tracks and waypoints and those are all synced with Active Captain as well. Um, my Active Captain community is uh, transferring now. You'll see that takes a long time. There's a lot of Active Captain data in there. And when you do that, you can choose to display the Active Captain data on your chart plotter. Some people like it. I have a couple of screens, a couple of different uh, screens set up, one with the Active Captain showing and one without so that I can uh, uh, kind of toggle back and forth. But if you want to find an anchorage or look at um, marina uh, reviews and those kind of things, you can do that on the chart plotter. Sometimes it's easier just to do it from the Active Captain app on the phone. But uh, that Active Captain com community data is transferring. And then uh, the one chart is the uh, a way you can manage the charts that you've purchased. And the quick draw community is a way for you to share depth information with other people who are part of the community. And this is something you have to opt into, but that's what that allows. And then the helm is obviously what we're doing right now, uh, streaming from uh, the chart plotter to my iPad. So as the active captain data is transferring, I'm going to look a little bit at the um, uh, other Active Captain options in the app. So I'm going to switch, uh, close the chart plotter helm, and you can see uh, in the top left, we've got um, syncing with the plotter going on, the Active Captain community markers. And I'm going to go into My Marine Devices. This is a good place to go and check and make sure that all of your devices are represented there. Uh, again, this shows you both your marine network and your uh, NMEA 2000 Garmin devices. And this is where you'll see if uh, there's an update required. Up in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a uh, Download Now button if you're connected to your home network and there's a, an update available. And when you come out to the boat, it'll say connect to the plotter and you can connect to your Wi-Fi on your chart plotter and actually do the up update like we just showed you. The other nice thing about it is the chart function. And uh, this allows you to come in and actually uh, update your charts. You can look at the different uh, types of charts available. You can look at your chart settings and how you want your charts displayed on the chart plotter. Well, sometimes it's a little easier to do it here than it is on the device. And then there's the download charts button. Now, uh, while you're connected to the Garmin chart plotter, again, you can't download any charts, but what this allows you to do is select the areas you want the detail for and download those and have those charts on your iPad in high detail so that you can uh, use the charts on your iPad. And then when you create a route or create waypoints, uh, create um, or delete or add tracks, all that will sync from your iPad to the chart plotter when you connect to it. So I can take basically my tracks and everything, all the data that I have on the chart plotter, I can take it into the house, plan the trip to the coast, you know, and ch plot it all out, and then come back out here, sync it to the plotter, and then when we get to the coast, all those, uh, uh, all those options are available to us. So the uh, chart function, pretty cool. And then you have your settings, your general settings for Active Captain which you would expect, uh, kind of your, um, the depth, 
how you want the uh, units measured for elevation, uh, pressure, those kind of things. You can also put in your specific boat settings, so your draft, your air, your, your air draft, all those kind of things. So my active captain communications now. Let's come back to the helm. You'll see it on the recording. So uh, you'll see that my active captain community settings are updated. And the only thing I've got a little exclamation point on are the smart notifications. Again, because I have those disabled, I find them distracting. So there's an overview of how to update your plotter with Active Captain, the benefits of using Active Active Captain, and as you as you look through the Active Captain settings and you go into the downloading of charts or the purchasing of charts, you can do that all through Active Captain. You don't have to have SD cards anymore. You don't have to wait for them to come in the mail. You don't have to wait for updates. You can actually do all your chart purchases in Active Captain, they will transfer to your plotter, and then you can actually get if you get the subscription, which is available now, have daily updates for depths and anything that's been updated in the maps that you have purchased. So it's pretty cool to have the subscription option, and it's pretty cool to use Active Captain, I believe. There were a lot of people who wondered if Garmin was going to ruin Active Captain when they bought it because there was a huge community of people who were putting in the reviews and 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 really um, connected to the forums online and those kind of things. And I will say the reviews and the, the, the frequency of updates has dropped off as some of the people who weren't Garmin people thought, well, this isn't for me. And there were some challenges with logins and those kind of things that caused their, their community to diminish a bit. But it still is very valuable. It is how Garmin is going to let you talk to your chart plotter from your mobile devices. It's very effective for handling the software updates. All the things that you need to, to do to manage your chart plotter are available on Active Captain. simplifies it, makes it seamless, and I love it. I use it all the time. So if you have any questions, put them below in the comments, and I hope you found this video helpful. Hope you have a great day.